Are you recording this? So here, here's the basic premise of Tesla. Why, why Tesla is so beautiful. I'm going to make my case, all right? Tesla, it's beautiful. Oh, let me show you my portfolio first. Because Tesla at, at a very cheap price, well, all the yield max, all the cheap price yield max, cheap price, and yet they pay pretty good premium. I'll give you a case in point, OARK. OARK by yield max standard is pretty yucky. It paid 47 cents. Yuck. But it's $11.35 stock. $11.35 ETF, I'm sorry. Uh, 11, let's try to use the correct terminology here. $11.35 and pay $0.47. Cents. You know who would love to have $0.47? Cents? Jeppy would love to have $0.47. Cents. Jeff Q would love to have $0.47. Cents. Spy I would love to have $0.47. Cents. QQQI would love to have that. The Global X, XYLD would love to have that. There's tons of funds out there would love to have 47 cents. Would love to get the 47 cents. But yet their price is at 50 bucks. This thing is at $11 and pay 47 cents. And let's look at the yield. And unfortunately, I don't want to calculate the yield, so I just go to their website. And that's how I do it. This thing is generating 49%, 50%, you know? Unbelievable. So if, if you double it and make it $22, you get over 80 cents. If you double that and make it 40, uh, $44, which is now in the Jep Q, Jep P range territory, you get almost a dollar sixty, which is still a lot more than than Jep Q, Jep P, Jep I, and stuff like that. You see, you see how I see the world. It's different. Like, why would you not want to buy OLK at very very cheap price and get paid and get a lot of share, get a lot of share and generate the income this is how you get 5,000 6,000 7,000 8,000 10,000 a month this is why a lot of us in our community are so super rich Remember, we're going to change our channel our YouTube channel called how yield dividends millionaire warriors because we're going to get a lot of millionaires in about by in about two years a lot of people are rich because they just keep it simple. I only have $1,000 or $500, whatever the resource they have. I'm not going to go buy something that's $50. I'm not going to go buy something at $40, $30. I'm going to go buy something at something I can afford, $11, $12. And then... Yeah, and it's great. And that thing pay pretty good dividends. I mean, and then if, if you go into like, oh, if you go to IWNY, holy cow. Let's use IWNY as an example. This thing is $16 and it pay you $1. And it been paying you $1. It, it, it has not, it has not not pay you $1. It pay you $1 since inception. Every month, one every month, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, more than one dollar. And yet the price is sixteen dollar. And now people bailing out of QQY and IWM. Why? It's like it's like we're looking. We're not looking at the same lens. There's people out there bailing out of Tesla, OLK, all these funds, all the Yield Max fund, because of this prices down the NAV erosion thing or because because they look at their portfolio and they just see it's down here it's just down 
And what I say is like, no, I don't care about that because I'm not selling it. I'm going to keep it for two years. Three years, four years. I'm going to keep it until I die or, or I transfer it to somebody else. I'm going to keep it. And it still pay me dividends. In two years, I'm going to get my money back. And some fund is only in 16 months I'm going to get my money back. So different people play it differently. And the, the, the question, I want to have the intellectual conversation is this. Like, how is it I see Mona Lisa in these funds, but somebody else see it as an ugly baby? And, and they, 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 that's, that's one of the questions I want to ask retired dividends. I, I was hoping to meet him in New York because he sell out of Tesla. And I'm just trying to figure it out, hey man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to get to the, to the root of the things. Like what, what caused you to sell it? Why? And his thing is like, man, I just don't want to see this negative 46,000 or negative 10,000, negative 20,000. I don't want to see a negative 60%. Yeah, but look how much money you're getting, man. You're going to get that for a long, long time. We're building our portfolio. We're not, we're not starting with 100000 We're not starting with 10000 We're building it. We're putting money into it. We're putting money into an increment. And we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The only reason why we're all getting rich, I'm going to show you the income investment again. The only reason why we're all getting rich is this. In January, I made very little, and by the time I went all in on Tesla, and look at my, 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 my income actually went up, like the arrow going up, it's the inverse of Tesla. I'm a good test subject for Tesla because I went in 98% of my money into Tesla, like all my money went into Tesla. So I'm a good test subject. And so what happened over the one year span, Tesla just went down. As it went down, I was able to buy more share. I was able to get a lot of share. And so the share equal to dividends. I get more share, I got more dividends, I got more income. More share equal to more income. And I get $3,000. Remember, I put $12,000 of my money, 12 to 18000 I can't remember. You know, because some month I put a thousand five hundred stuff that of my money into this thing, but I made twelve thousand that whole year. I made twelve thousand dollars in of of income, but my portfolio went up. Once it reached three thousand dollars, it became self automated. It became self aware. My portfolio became self aware because in twenty twenty four. I made 3000 in December 2023 in January 2024 I made 4600. Guess what and, and guess what else I don't have to do? I don't have to contribute. I don't, I don't have to put my money in anymore. And in February uh, I don't you know it, it went up to 5000. In March it went up to 6000. In April I'm making 7000 and May and 7000 on and I'm on my way to make 7000. And every three months, it's it's eight uh, it's a thousand dollar. So April, May, June, June going to July, that's going to be eight thousand. So July to August, September, that's eight thousand to go to nine thousand. So eight thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand. So that's twenty four thousand. Matter of fact, I don't need three months to get another thousand. I just need two months. Eight thousand, eight thousand. That's sixteen thousand. If I buy I I W N Y, I'm going to get. I'm gonna get literally get another thousand dollar, but I just rounded three, and then, you know, that's going to nine thousand, and then from October, November, December, that's going to be ten thousand. But remember, it's nine thousand, nine thousand, two months. That's eighteen thousand, in two months. I don't need three months to get to you know to get to to, to make a thousand. I just need two months, eighteen thousand. Because these funds are not that expensive. I keep buying it cheap. They're not that expensive. I mean, there's, there's, there's almost how many? There's probably at least 
at least 20 of them. There's probably like 20 of them under $19 or under under $20 that I own. OLK is $11, AIYY is $11.41, Tesla is $14, Clip is $14. They're cheap, so I can get more. I keep getting more. And so that's how I grow my wealth, and I just get more wealth. And for all of us, we figure this out. That's why we're doing it. That's why we're in it. That's why we're getting, making money. But for some reason, it doesn't translate once we leave our community. I don't understand this. Why is it we understand it? And we understand it very well. And I don't have to explain it. Any, like you guys understood it exactly, easily. But there's people out there doesn't see this as beauty. They see this as a problem set. And I would love to, yeah, I, I, with that, that's my thesis. And I'm going to turn it over to you guys. I would love to hear your opinions on this. I see the same lens as you do. Come here. I'm sorry, what? As I see it at the same lens as you do, the same way. Yeah, we're all on. That's why we're here. <laughs> exactly. Um, now, about ORK, I buy it. I continue buying OARK because it provides 49% distribution rate. I cannot uh, argue with numbers. Here's, something, here's, here's a simple thing. If I were to tell a bunch of fifth graders, you're not going to get rich buying something expensive and expect it to grow some more. You can. The word can is there. But not as well as buying something cheap because you can own a lot of them. Because you're trying to generate interest. You're trying to generate gain from that interest, a percentage of it. If you're buying a comic book and it has a set value and you're not collecting any dividends from these comic books, yeah, that makes sense. But you're, tr you're trying to collect dividends from this and you're trying to gain the income from these dividends. Why would you buy something expensive where you only own one or two of them? VOO, VOO is a great ETF. SPY is a great ETF. QQQ is a great ETF. No, no one, no one disagrees with that. But those things are $400. If you only put $1,000, you'll manage to own only two shares. Two shares, that's it. And that thing pay you like two shares and pay you maybe like a dollar. Why not own these guys and pay you $50? And you get to own 50 shares. $1,000, you get 50 shares and pay $1,000. So, it's it's tough. Like, I I, I really don't understand. Like, like yeah. Smenu, do you want to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say it's a combination of things, really. I mean, it's a convergence uh actually so this is a new relatively new concept i mean it, it's in the past before yield max came out with uh tesla and i think they came out with one other a year ago i think it was uh, the xomo maybe before then the i guess the herd mentality if you will was you know, you invest, if you're going to invest in stocks, you invest in growth early on so that it can grow. And then what you do is you live off that growth, you know, 30, 40 years of doing the same thing, essentially investing whatever extra money you've decided to set aside for your retirement, quote unquote. And by the time 40 years comes around or 30 years comes around, you have enough to retire on. You you know, you, you're making three, four percent on hopefully somewhere north of a million dollars that you've saved over a lifetime of working. And you know, you take out four percent 
and that should last you until you die when you know 30 years whatever and you retire that's that's the old mentality but these funds generate high income and the dividend is is essentially cutting the price of the stock every time you get a dividend it reduces the price of the stock and to a growth investor that's bad that's not good that's bad even though you're getting the money back that's still it, you're still taking away from the value of the company at the time of the dividend because a stock price is essentially what's known as the uh, the future it's actually the future price of what the company is let me rephrase that what the public think that company is going to be worth which is kind of ridiculous now that I, you know I'm hearing the words come out of my mouth think about it the price of a stock that you pay is the future price that people the public who are trading in this equity think that the company is going to be worth tomorrow the next day down the road and that's that's why they can't understand getting a dollar dividend on a twenty dollar ETF or stock is some kind of scam. It has to be, right? It, it's unsustainable. That's that's really where the probably the argumentative portion of someone who sees these as negative investments. That's where they're coming from. They're saying they're saying. There's no way to sustain that for any long term. And for these kinds of high yield dividends for long term growth, you know, for long term prospects, maybe they might be right. Right? Because you can't you can't really there's no history to go back and say, well, this one was paying 50% for 10 years. The closest thing we have is like QYLD. That pays that's been paying 10 to 12 percent for 10 plus years now. But their stock price is stagnated. It actually went down in the early years. It started slow. It's starting to slowly come back up, and it's kind of even even out. So that's really the only comparison that we have. But QILD is based off of an index, not a single stock. So the volatility that that implies when you have an ETF that <laughs> that generates its income from covered calls. I mean, it, it, the way they've aligned it, it you kind of have to expect it. You expect it when the stock goes down, your ETF price is going to go down. But if you understand what you're buying into and change your mentality, you'll understand that, you, that and I agree with you on why, I don't understand why retired on dividends sold his position in Tesla just because he saw a negative you know a huge negative um return on his tesla investment that i don't agree with in fact i myself have sold everything but tesla and clip in anticipation when i saw tesla go down three days in a row i sold coney made 60 percent on that i sold uh my uh other positions i can't remember what they were but i i eat, got i broke even on those because i'm going to buy more tesla and i'm going to buy more clip so i made my profit off coney and now i i wanted to buy today but i couldn't because i was uh, away from my computer but tomorrow if it goes down i'm there's going to be a number <laughs> where i'm going to like take one third of the money that I made and I'm going to buy a, a huge chunk of Tesla. I got 3,500 shares now. I'm probably going to buy a thousand or more shares. Why? Because I believe in Tesla. I, you know, I understand that it's going down. So this is the time to buy. This is not the time to sell. And any investor will tell you that if you're going to be in equities, you want to buy low and sell high. But the other thing the last point I want to make about these ETFs is if you believe in them and you stick with them, 
there's really no bad time to buy. I mean, I know you, I, I agree with you when, you know, on these, when you're looking to buy something, why buy at 30 or 40 when, you know, you can buy at 20 or 15. I, I agree with that mentality. But if there's something you're looking at buying, like say NVIDIA, when it was doing that huge run up, even if you bought at the top, which my initial shares in Tesla, that's what I bought. I bought in December when it was at the top. Most of my shares, that's what I bought in. So I've been slowly DCAing down, and and now I'm down to seventeen dollars and eighty cents on on my thirty five hundred shares, and I've got a twenty thousand dollar loss. You know, not a, not as much as you, but I'm close. But now, <laughs> now that I see it's fourteen dollars a share, yeah, I'm gonna buy one or two thousand shares if it goes below fourteen, for sure, in the next day or two. Why? Because I believe in Tesla. And when it goes back up, guess what your yield on cost is going to be for those shares that you bought at 14? When it, if it goes back up, now I could be wrong. It could go down. But if it goes back up, your yield on cost goes up. So not only is it making 50% for you at the time that you buy it, because that's what they're targeting is 50%. But if the price goes up and, and everything goes up, you're going to get even more. And if it goes down, you're going to get less. Yes, you know I could be wrong. I'm taking a chance. For sure, but hey, that's what I believe in. So that's what I'm doing. Well, it's well said, man. Well said. And anybody agree? I mean, that's some that's well well said, Mendel. <laughs> Minimal. Do you want to say something? Me. Hello. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah. Comment. Um... I heard that their uh, earnings are coming out pretty soon. So, depending what you think on that, if you think it it's still going to go down, maybe maybe wait till that comes out. But if if you think it's, they're going to beat it, I guess it's better to get in before. So I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, uh, Smendel. Yeah, that that's why I'm. So I've I've got about a hundred thousand dollars from my sales, and I'm going to spend a third, like within a day or two, because it's gone down enough. And then I'm going to wait and see what happens. And if it goes down enough further, I'll buy in another third. And then I'll probably wait for that last third, you know, at the uh, at the earnings and see what happens. And if it goes, you know, if the earnings are good, I'll probably buy in right away. If the earnings are bad, I'll probably wait another day or two and, and uh, put the rest in. So... Uh, all in on Tesla. That's me. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, but I'm not all in at more because I'm at phase two, uh, my plan. So I'm I'm on my way to phase three. Uh, phase two, phase one. I'm all in on Tesla so I can generate income, so I can get started. You know, so I went all in on Tesla. I got three thousand dollars. I stopped. I made a video and said I reached three thousand dollars. I reached my goal. I'm stopping going all in. And then plus I stopped the contribution. So now I now I'm using the money from my essentially from Tesla, my portfolio, which is all Tesla, to grow the other fund. With three thousand dollar, the other fund grew really fast. <laughs> because it's it's much faster than a thousand dollar. And uh, yeah, so eventually I get to four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand. It's you know, but I won't be there. My journey won't be, uh, my journey will not, it wouldn't be as successful as it is now. If if Tesla never came down in price, if Tesla was still sitting, let's say Tesla was NVD and was sitting, now is sitting at 20, I don't know what's NVD price now. Um, you know, when you want to find it, you can't find it. It's just like, you got to sort it out. It's twenty five sixty one. Okay, so if Tesla, when I when Tesla came out in twenty, my average, I bought Tesla at eighteen dollars, and it's been. That's the reason why I'm so, you know, so, well, equivalent to about thirty something dollars, you know, now today's price. So I bought at the highest point of Tesla price, but imagine Tesla never came down and went up. There's no way in the world I would get three thousand dollars a month. Because I, I wouldn't have enough share to generate three thousand dollars a month. I matter of fact I would still go I still would go back, 
you know, so going back to 2023, if the price never came down, this this line would not exist. In July, I probably made like 30 bucks. In August, I probably made like, you know, 60, you know 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and, and so on. And by the time the end of the year, I made maybe, you know, $500. That's it. But because it's so cheap, I was able to get more. This thing went to like eight dollars, so I able to buy a lot more. I got a lot more money. I got a lot more share for the same money I put in, same amount of money I put in, and that's the reason why my portfolio explode because the price is so cheap. That's why. That's why people say it all the time that you're not gonna get rich when everything is doing really well. You're gonna get rich when the market is down. When everything is doing bad, if you if you have the money, and you buying things at a cheap price, you're gonna get rich. It's just it's just the law of the law. It's just the law the law of nature, the law of math. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Let's go look at Tesla. Let's say let's say you have a million dollar of Tesla. I don't know. Make up some number. That's not Tesla. Pick a stock. Pick whatever. Pick any company, didn't matter. It dipped right here at $123. Imagine it came down to $123 and you buy a million dollars worth of it. And then it went up as high as $300. And it's still sitting at $155. So you're doing really well. But can you imagine buying a $20? You're 12,000% your price. 2019 to 2024, you went up 12,000 percent. Oh, since since 2011, it it just it's just crazy. This is this is where this is the time right now when everything is down like this. It's the time right now not to go back and question your thesis. This is where you double down and make more money and get richer and, and, and compound. Exactly right. Well said. The best thing ever happened to my portfolio, the best thing ever happened to my investment journey. I don't think my YouTube will be as, as successful. I don't think we will ever have this many people hanging out and watching us. It's just not going to happen because the best thing ever happened to me is that I went all in on Tesla and Tesla went to like eight dollars. Otherwise, my portfolio, I'm not looking at a seven thousand dollar portfolio. I'm looking at a thousand dollar portfolio on year two. So yes, you can buy you can buy FEPI F E P I at fifty three dollar or QQI at fifty dollar or SPY I at forty eight dollars or IWMW Black Rocks at $46 or GPI GPX. All these funds here provide you some kind of capital appreciation where you don't see any red. You don't see red. But guess how many share you own? Not a lot. And then at least five times cheaper than the five. To, so I'm buying, I'm buying things at $11 price, $12 price, and you're buying things at $50. By the end of the year, I'm going to get five times more price, more share than you have. And if this thing ever pay more than 49 cents or 50 cents or pay, if this thing ever have a good day, guess what's going to happen? That number of shares is going to ex explode. My portfolio explode. Two different people, two people. One buy safe and protected $50, $40, $30 share, but it's safe and there's no... You look at his portfolio, there's no red whatsoever. And then here's me buying only $11, $12 price, but I just got a lot of share. So at the end of the day, I'm getting five times more share than that person for the same amount we put in. Five times more share. And guess what? I'm going to get five times more incomes than that person. And that is why we're, we're doing so well now. That's why it's going to explode and continue to get and explode. It's continue to be amazing. I, I really don't know how to explain this to people 
because all they see is once once you talk about hey man let's let's have this intellectual debate and discussion of course they're going to say okay let's let's use their its capital appreciation or oh, cap uh, or your nav is erosion they're essentially just giving your money back and pay you that's only if you move the money in that's not first of all. You move if you put a thousand in, if you built from the ground up, it's not the same effect. Like for me, for example, I want to know. I haven't put my money in. I stopped putting my money in. By the end of this year, I will make all my money. I put ninety thousand dollars. Me and SSU look at this last uh, couple of days ago. How much did I contribute into my portfolio? It showed ninety thousand. I contribute ninety thousand to my portfolio, right? This up to this point right now. But by the end of this year, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make uh, almost a hundred uh, by 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 2024. Remember, I'm gonna make um, by December. I'm gonna have ten thousand uh, ten thousand dollars a month. That's a hundred twenty thousand dollar. By the end of this year, I'm gonna make essentially make my money back. The fall month, I mean, as soon as it, it's just crazy. I, I, it's not even the end of the year. Somewhere around September, October, I'm gonna make ninety thousand. I mean, just think, just think of the math. I mean, it's just simple. I mean, I'm I'm already almost at eight thousand dollars a month right now. In ten months, I get eighty thousand. So I'm going to get my money back here by the end of this year. And I haven't cont contributed, so I'm not putting my money in. And here's the beautiful part. Guess what happened next year? It's the same. The year after that, it's the same. The year it's the same. It's, it's the same. I, I was always going to get 120000 And let, let's say I withdraw all the money. I get 120000 120000 120000 I withdraw. But I'm not doing that. I'm putting the money back in. So I, it's going to keep compounding. But at the December, at December of 2024, I'm sorry, yeah, 2024, I will have $120,000 a year or $10,000 a month, and that's more than the money I put in. I haven't, and I haven't contributed my own cash into my portfolio, and I'm not going to, and, I'm, and every year after that, I'm continuing to make $120,000, I'm going to make $150,000, $160,000, $200,000, and so on, and so on, and so on. And 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 there's nothing causes to fail. The only way this this whole system fail is the underlining file for bankruptcy. That means Tesla has to file for bankruptcy. That means uh, Microsoft has to file bankruptcy. That means Apple has to file for bankruptcy. Google has to file. The Magnificent Seven, all those company has to file for bankruptcy because Yield Mac invests in all those things. I doubt it. I doubt they're going to file bankruptcy any time in the next three, four years. That's number one. Number two is option trading going to fail. We, we, for whatever reason, we can't do option trading. Well, that, the option trading is the New York Stock Exchange. It's the market. If you can't do option trading, we we'll might as well take our bows and hunting and, and we're going to go fishing for food. We're probably World War III and zombie attacking everywhere. So it doesn't really matter. The world's ending. So we're looking at two scenarios that we're not going to file bankruptcy. We're not going to lose our money in the next two, three years. So as a result, we're always going to get our money and more. So a lot of the, the anti-people, for whatever reason, they love to do math, nav erosion, capital erosion, and look at this. You start with 20, now go down to 14. I say, okay, great. Use any number you want. But understand, I'm making dividends every single time. Tesla is giving me dividends every month. Every month. And they gave me $14. What number you want to use? Well, their, their number is going down. Okay, well, t tell me a number. 50 cents, 60 cents? Let's use the lowest number they have, 68 cents. I will right, we'll use 68 cents. 
But guess what? They always gonna pay me sixty eight cents. You know? For the next five, ten years. As long as they, 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 they always they I said then plug in your mat that way. Why don't you plug in your mat assuming that I'm always gonna get dividends? But they always forget that they forgot to calculate that. They're always getting dividends part. They just they just assume that this thing gonna fail because what's gonna happen, the capital can come to zero. Like it's gonna keep coming down and it's gonna be zero, and they're gonna re- keep reverse splitting and they're gonna come to zero. Right? I guess when that day comes, then we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, it's theoretically possible, but I don't believe so. Tesla, Tesla, excuse me, is is due for a turnaround, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, Elon Musk he picks his nose wrong, and the stock goes down. You know, 2%. you know, you know how they can bring this Tesla back and overnight. Just don't pay us the dividends. Or pay us ten cents. This thing makes sixty-eight cents. Don't pay us the dividend. Go back right into the nav. Next month, pay us twenty cents and go back into the nav. Next month, pay us. Just pay us ten percent of the dividend and go back into the nav. And and it will go back. You know. And if test and and the other thing is don't play it. Don't play close to the money and play it further out. And guess what? You're gonna get all the capital appreciation. Tesla haven't gone up 15% in almost a year now. It hasn't got it hasn't rise a 15% increase in a long time. The last time it did that was in July, and it, we're heading to toward July. So so everybody say, well, it cap. Well, if you play at 15%, you're not gonna be capped. Yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of dividends, but you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna watch this thing rise up to 15% with it. Yeah, there's many ways to bring this thing, this thing back. Many ways. We get less dividend. We're gonna, we're gonna be like TSLP. Just play one month out like TSLP. If you do it like TSLP, TSLP is the same fund. They do synthetic cover call on Tesla. How how come their price managed to maintain price? Well, because they're paying you fifty seven cents, sixty cent, fifty cents, thirty one cents. They have no problem cutting you, giving you very little money. No problem whatsoever. So they can preserve this capital. And 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 they play thirty days out. And they play they play I, I don't know like fifteen, twenty percent out of the money, whatever it is, ungodly amount. I don't know. I can't remember that far. Anyway, I just it it it's this is the core concept. The core concept, once you understand this, you're on your way to get rich. All of us. I mean, look at Spindle is talking about owning 3,500 shares of Tesla. Is that right? That's my current position, and I'm going to add more to it. I've sold That's his current position. 3,500, that means he's making over 2,500 a month. He's making over $2,000 a month. That's a lot of money. That's free money. It's just like, here you go. Go. Farewell, fallen sea. Let the fortune await you. Here's your money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Camera. It is crazy, man. It's crazy how how we don't we don't see this. There's people out there with 30,000, 20,000 shares of Tesla. 10,000 share of Tesla, man. Um, anyway, uh, I just want to share you that perspective. All right. If, if I may ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. So you see this. We see this. They don't see this. But you did say that it was a great time to double down. How do you plan on doubling down, out of curiosity? Double down? Yes. 
Well, for me, I'm not buying more Tusley because I have a phase plan approach. Once I reach a certain amount, I, I transition to another plan. But what I do is I take that Tusley dividends, I buy other fund because in this phase, all I do is diversify. And so what I do is I double down by putting into other high yield dividends, such as IWMY. Like I take the dividends money and I put into IWMY. Or I take that money and buy into ULTY. Does that make sense? That like I, I bought ULTY today. I bought 100 share of ULTY. So guess what? There you go, 100 share. That's 300 share now. I had 200 share last year today and 300 share today. And next month I'm going to get 400 share. Next month I get 500 shares. And eventually I'm going to get 1,000 share. That's another $1,000 going to my pocket. Does that make sense? You don't have to I, buy Tesla because you have more choices now. 50% yield is 50% yield. It doesn't matter how you generate it. So, so you, you can do it like the way I approach it. You don't need to think about, uh, when I first started, my first year, all I think about was Tesla because that's all I put my money in. Number one, that's the only choice I had. It's just Tesla. And then, and then somewhere in June, there was Microsoft, there was Google, there was Amazon, and there was NVD. And then, and then later on, there's more fun that came out. Right? But when I started, it was only Tesla. But I just went all in to get the income. So I got the income. Now, my second year, I diversify to generate the same yield at a different fund, at an in fund. Have you ever seen that that um, that baseball movie? It's called Moneyball with Brad Pitt. He play uh, uh, the great Oakland movie Asian general manager. Yes. Yeah. yeah, great. It is a great movie. Yeah, great um, movie. Okay, the whole premise of the movie was they're trying to replace Jason Giambi. I can't believe that's a true story. And 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 the general manager said, "You're not going to replace Jason Giambi. It's Jason Giambi. Who's replacing Jason Giambi?" And he, I told you, right, you're not going to replace him. What we're going to do is we're going to generate his on-base percentage through other three players. And, I, man, I, as a baseball fan, I fell in love with that line. I felt like, holy cow, these guys are smart. And well, that's would, it. Yeah? You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I would categorize what I'm doing as doubling down on Tesla specifically. And I don't recommend anybody do this, but I'm a 100% believer. And it's my money. And this is what I'm going to do, and I'm telling my story. And I sold my other positions. I made some money on Coney. I was I, I, I broke even on the others that I sold. And I'm, I'm going for it. I think Tesla's going down, but it's going to reverse and go back up soon. And that's going to make me even more money. Is it risky? You bet. Am I scared? No way. Why? Because I've been watching Kamara's channel for months now. And it works. It works. In my opinion, it works. Uh, the only reason why I'm asking all this is just because if Tesla's Jason Giambi, but everyone else, they are saying it's worth David Justice Price's to reference Moneyball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I, doubling down I, on Tesla. I replicate, right? I replicate that 50% yield with IWMY, with Coney, and with ULTY, those three funds. That's how I replicate it. Instead of just keep throwing money into Tesla. I can do that. I, matter of fact, I only do that because I have a YouTube channel. Somebody asked me one time that if you didn't have a YouTube channel, what would you be invest on? And anybody want to guess what I would be invest on? Tesla for sure. Yeah, that's it. Tesla and Tesla. I care less about all the other one. I I literally uh, it is like it's like a no brain. Like military guys, one thing they don't want to do is think any more than they need to. They don't want to put any more resources in you know, like. That's why we want to come home and all we want to do is kiss our wife and just bang her. We don't want to do anything else. We don't want to think about anything else. We want good food, good steak, and we want sex. I mean, it's just like, 
It's, it's a no-brainer. There's like, it's a no-brainer. So we, we don't want to think about anything else. It, it just, it just, you just want to enjoy life. Because our life may not be exist tomorrow. And so we just enjoy the life that we have now. And all those other fun are amazing. If I don't have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't even know it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look at it, research it, you know, because I don't, I don't have anybody to prove, to impress, to explain. It's just me and that's it. So what I would do is I would take money, my money, I would actually put more money in it. But I have to do, because of YouTube, I have to do it as if I was an immigrant who just came to the United States or if I was a farmer or if I was a construction worker, or if I was a plumber, or a dishwasher, or a guy who worked in a Chinese restaurant who doesn't have a retirement plan. And what, how would I get rich? And this is what I'm doing. So at the end of the rainbow, like three years from now, I said, hey, I've been doing this for three years. Here's my journey. I think you can do it too, so good luck. And I'm going to rise off in the sunset and go somewhere else. And I, I give you the formula. But if it was just me, I would take all, all the all the money I have and I would just put into Tesla and Tesla and I call a day and and I wouldn't care less I would just I would just buy I, I would just I would just put re, uh, dividend reinvest auto dividend reinvest and I wouldn't even look at this account again until like three four years from now <laughs> like I wouldn't even look I would just and then, and I would be shocked and surprised, like, holy cow, I got like $100,000 worth of Tesla stock? That's crazy. I didn't even know I'm, I didn't know I had that much kind of money, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it's like a no-brainer, you know? So that's, that's why I would just, um, that, but because I have YouTube channel, I got to explain people stuff. That's why I own QYBTC and QQI and BNDI, GPIX, GPIQ. What the heck? You know what I mean? It's just like, it's literally what the heck. <laughs> but, yeah. I hope that helped a little bit. You know, did that help explain or at least we clear? It, it does. I yeah, yeah, yeah. If it works and makes sense for you, it's it's all good. Yeah, uh, look at it this way. I'm betting that Tesla is going to go up. Tesla and Tesla is going to go up. So fifty percent yield today is a hundred percent yield tomorrow if it goes up. You know, a hundred percent. Right. That's what I'm looking at, and it. I think it's worth twenty five, twenty six, right. almost double. Yeah. I believe in Tesla so much, I sold my SoFi. <laughs> I, because Tesla went to 154 or 150, uh, I bought it 157, so I still got screwed. I don't have I don't have a lot more money because I maxed out my uh, my my margin. I, I can't go over 75, so I got to keep it 70,000 or lower, you know, or 75,000 lower. I'm playing between 70,000, 72,000, 75,000. That's it. All right, so that's my that's my my margin you know limitation. And this thing, this thing went down to the price went down one fifty seven. I was like, shoot, where do I get money? Guess what? I sold my SoFi, and I bought more Tesla on that. All right, so yeah, because I I, I love Tesla. Um, I mean, I just like just like Mendel, we believe in it. And here's the thing: the first indication of warning is actually July. So Smendo marks your calendar in July. Okay, what I mean by first indication of warning is this. If you look at, if you look at, um, let's just let's just do basic basic research. You know, this is what you call a grade level research. We're not a financial analyst. We're not a stockbrokers. We're just an average Joe who love Tesla, right? Well, Tesla, their number one product is their 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 car, automobile. That's what they generate the most money. That's what their income is. So, in the automobile field, let's look at Ford. All right, Ford, when the Ford, in five years, when do you, every time you see this arrow, what, what do you think it take places? Here's 2023, guess what? That's July right there. That's a tip, and it's July. Here's 2022, guess what? Here's a tip. It's July and August, all right? 2021, here's July, all right? 2022, it's going up. 
So during the summer month, automobile tend to do very well. And I say, okay, well, that's just maybe Ford. Well, let's look at GMC. Uh, GM, I think it's just GM. And you look at five years, and guess what? GM do exact same thing. During the summer month, guess what? Look at that peak. The only peak in, in 2023, 24, is July. In 2022, there's peak and valley everywhere. But it went up in July, the summer month, and, and it came down in September, October. In 2021 is their best time. Guess what? The peak, June, July. June, July, right? And it started to come down a little bit. You see what I'm talking about? And then you can say the same thing for pretty much the summer month. I can't think of, like, name a, com a company, okay? And you can do the same thing with Tesla. You look at Tesla and it's like, okay, five years. Jul uh, July, it went up. Wow, that's beautiful. And that's the highest wrong. peak, all right? And then in... Uh, in 2022, July was, July here, this is July, right? Ju June to July, right here, this line going up. You're not looking at Tesla, come here. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm not looking at it. I should have, I should have recognized that's not a Tesla diagram. All right, sorry. Here's Tesla, July. Thank you so much. Uh, I was deeply embarrassed. Um, so here's July going up. Uh, here's July. At the peak, 2023, the highest amount of Tesla stock was in July. In 2022, the highest was not in July, but the highest, I mean, the peak was was essentially right there, June, July, and August, all right? And uh, 2021, it was on its way to its peak. It started, it just, it got out of the situation here, and then it just ex exploded. And then in... In 2020, it's the same thing. It started in June, July, it just exploded and went up. All right, the bottom line, we just we just look at three or four company, and summer move, the summer month is huge. Summer month is huge. I don't know about you guys, but I move every two years. And every time military move, there's a trucking company came in. Uh, guess what? I'm going to move this summer too. Uh, I'm going to get close to the family. And, uh, and you know, I don't want to say anything because I know you guys are like, I want to visit you in Miami. Dude, uh, I got many homes. You can still visit me in Miami, but I may not be there during the summer. I, I'm, I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to get another job, another post. And military guy, we just move all the time. We're just like, hey, give me a job. Bam, I'm there. Right? And, uh, and, and. Guys like me, man, it's easy, very easy. Nobody wants to do desk job, you know. Like I, like, sign me up. I'll do desk job, you know, because I'm, I'm punching out, right? I'm sunsetting. Give, give all the action to all the young guys, and I want to just focus on making, making money on uh, uh, YouTube channel and uh, and my investment here. But some of move is busy, man. We're talking about at least 1.5 million people moving. That's just the military. There's another 1.5 million the federal government is shifting around, all right? And then you got you got all the college students. Think about it. There's like a million college students out there. They're all getting ready for summer school. And then parents have to buy a car for them. And then guess what? Then that means the parents, they're going to have to make a decision. Whether they have no money on money at all, they're going to have to make a decision. Paying for school, buying a car, and buying more clothes. Like the whole engine is moving. My point is, during the summer month, if we don't see Tesla and Tesla heading in a positive direction, going to going back to sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars, eighteen dollars, and maybe potentially twenty dollars, keep going up in a positive direction, then we're looking at an, we're looking at a another situation, another economic situation that we're not looking at. Uh, it has nothing to do with Tesla. I still believe Tesla is going to be a two thousand dollar stock like Kathy Wood said you know I believe it's gonna be a thousand dollar stock at least at least ten, uh, 3x out of this thing or 4x out of this thing but this summer if that economic engine doesn't drive Ford General Motor everybody all the automobile all the transportation including energy up we'll we 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 have to be prepared for the worst for, for another situation you see what I'm talking about this is this is the first indication of warning that uh, that we it's our test mental. We 
What's your take on that? Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Uh, but you know, I think it's I think it's at a low point now. So uh, the the key is to buy low and sell high. And I I could be wrong, but I'm I'm going to be looking pretty sharp at the price point from here to you, the next. You're not, you're not wrong because the if if you believe, well, it can go lower. But one thing it's not going to do is file for bankruptcy. So that that is not going to happen. So, but it can go lower. Okay, so it can because, but at some point it's going to be so low because it's speculative, because they're driving something low. But the reality, there's a cost to Tesla. There's a cost to building. There's a cost to employee. There's a cost to make money. So you can hate Tesla all you want, but the law of mathematics doesn't work out because now you're reaching the point it's the true value of the price. Of the of the actual company, maybe the true value of the company is actually on, sitting at one hundred twenty thousand, right? That's that's a true value. Right now they're saying this 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 company is worth four hundred ninety five billion. Four hundred ninety five billion means it's one hundred fifty five dollars stocks. Okay. Maybe the true value of the company is not four hundred ninety five billion. Maybe it's only maybe it's only four hundred billion, right? But sooner, no matter what, the price is going to keep coming down. At some point, it can't go any lower. It, it it mathematically cannot go any lower because the building costs money, the equipment costs money, the labor costs money, the supply costs money, the the operation of that to create this product costs money. So that is the bare minimum of total value of this company because the stock value is supposed to be the total value. But however, it at the it at the speculative of the the supply and demand. So people say, I love Tesla. People like us who love Tesla, we'll buy it. But then there's, you know, so at some point you keep going lower than the people, the people going like, holy cow, we got to, the, the demand to buy is going to be the reverse. Uh, the bear, uh, the, the bulls, everybody's going to jump in and, and, and start buying it. Like this thing is, there's no way. They will sell out of something to buy this. They will, like I just sold out of so far to buy Tesla. Well, guess what? Magnify me times a million other type of shareholders out there. They're going to start selling out of stuff to buy Tesla because it's so low. And what's going to happen is going to drive, it's going to drive the demand. It's going to drive the demand, uh, you know, like, okay, uh, the volume go up, everything go up, and next thing you know, it's, it's going to accelerate at a rapid growth, especially when they start producing products. Right now, Tesla hasn't really produced any product. They haven't really come out except the Cybertrucks. And and uh, let me add another spin here on the Cybertruck, and then we and then I'll, I'll take one last statement. I'm on a waiting list for Cybertrucks. I've been on that waiting list since it, since its release, the Cybertrucks. So I'm one of the earlier people, and I'm still on the waiting list. So whoever, when every time I read the news, it's like, no, the demand is really small. No, dude, I'm still on the waiting list. If there's no demand, they would have moved me up. They would have said, hey, hey, sir, congratulations, your Tesla is ready to come pick it up. No, I'm still on a waiting list. That means we're still waiting. For our, we're, waiting we're waiting in order in queue to, for them to make our trucks. The demand is high. They probably, they, they just, you can't just produce so many. So, yeah, the news is really jacked up. Just, just, just that alone is jacked up. The, this, this whole system approach that people are going against Tesla right now is mainly because of Elon, you know, so it's, it's, it's everybody's pushing her, but they're not even, they're not being fair. They're not even asking that question. Can you imagine doing a report? They said, oh, well, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of inventory of Tesla truck. Demand seemed to be lower, but however, when you look at the waiting list to get cyber truck, there's still 1.5 million people waiting to get a truck. So it, it doesn't match up. How do you have 1.5 million people waiting to get trucks and then you have a, a, a inventory issue? It, it doesn't match up, ladies. Your, your news is kind of quirky. Last time I checked my list, man, I'm, I'm close to a million people. Like, holy cow. I was talking to my wife. I said, man, we're gonna, it's going to be a while before I got our truck. What inventory problem? Because I can buy the truck right now. If, if they give me a call, they say, hey, go pick up your truck. I'll say, great, I'll write you a check. 
it's crazy. I was talking, um, I was talking to this you know, group of people about the solar roof, and we were like, we were like, oh, let's do the solar roof thing, and and uh, the guy was like, the guy was the sales guy was explaining, brand new sales guy, Tesla, and we were just asking question, and then he's like, dude. I'm not worried about the ten thousand uh, dollar because his his selling pitch was the, the ten thousand uh, dollar twenty thousand uh, dollar rebate. He said, "I'm not worried about that. I'm buying. I'm bu if I'm buy if I'm, bu I'm if I'm talking to you by buying a solar roof for my house, it's probably because I can afford it already." Otherwise, this is not a conversation for me to be had. And yeah, it really, it really, it kind of like shocked this sales guy who was brand new to the Tesla. And this guy was just telling him right up front. He said, hey, man, just tell me how you're going to get the solar roof. You don't need to sell me. You don't need to give me the sales pitch. Because I'm going to buy the solar roof. Because if I'm talking to you about the solar roof, I probably can afford the solar roof. You know, it, it it it's just a different mindset. Tesla owner, there's a there's a lot of rich mofo out there. Somebody told me there's a millionaire born every day, uh, like every day in the United States. There's a lot of rich mofo out there, and and they're buying Tesla. They love Tesla trucks, they love Tesla cars, they love Tesla. So, uh, hey, I don't know what the news is talking about because I'm still on the waiting list to buy it. All right. Uh, before I stop here, uh, anybody want to have any input? Okay, I'm going to stop.